and it is roughly same so it says that you are going to integer array called as nums and you can perform any of the following operations while nums contain at least two elements so the operation i can perform i need at least two elements to perform the one operation what the operation is i have three possible choices of operation the first choice is i can choose the first two elements of nums and then delete them okay first choose first two elements of nums and then delete them choose last two elements choose last two element of nums and delete them choose first and the last element of nums and delete them these are the three possible options which i can perform on two values it, it can be either first two last two or first and last cool now it says that the score of an operation is the sum of the deleted elements the score let's say if i delete the first and the last element so after deleting the score for that deletion will be nothing but the sum of these two values and my task is to find out the maximum number of operations that can be performed such that all the operations have the same score so uh, let's say i performed one deletion operation let's say i delete first and last so my score will be let's say x now all the next operations which i should be performing again i have three options to perform the next operation which means either the starting two either last two or the first and last every time my score should be same which is this specific x and i have to tell how many maximum number of such operations i can perform with the same score i will keep so i have to find the maximum number of deletions which i can do now we will understand with the help of an example let's say this is a nums firstly i'll ask you aryan bro what is the maximum number or basically what what are all the possible score values because you saw that you need to have this value x as fixed this x value which means the score value should be fixed and then and then when this score value x is fixed you will try on for all these three possible deletions right so now to figure out what the score because now problem gives you itself the opportunity to try on different target scores so i'm asking you what all are the different target scores which you can try off so i'll do the same exact operation either i can perform the either i can take either i can delete the first two elements so if i do that operation then my target score will become a five which means my target score is five which means that all the operations next again i have three op three options for the operation to perform but all the operations next should give me target score as five this is this is one possible options other possible option is what if in the very beginning i i would have deleted first and last element then my target score would have been a seventh so now the next possible candidate for my op, op options which i have as a, as a sum score x x can be a seven now what if i delete the last two elements which means last two elements again my target score is seven so this is next possible option now if i ask you if i ask you bro now i give you a new problem i gave you a new problem the problem is bro you have the array nums and you have a target score target score can be a five or a seven or a seven as you can see five or a seven or a seven then you have to give me that either you can have a target score as five or a seven or a seven now in one target score in one target score you will have three operations either the last two first two or first and last then in that possible how many you can how many operations you, you can perform again for one one target score you have to maintain the target score in all the deletions for this target score you have to maintain the target score in, in all the deletions and the same way for this so the first question is Aryan, is there only three possibilities yeah bro there will only be three possibilities of a target score because you have only three operations and you have to make sure that this is a score which you will get and you can have only three possible different scores so you can try for three possible different target score values and to when you let's say again when you try on for the first value of target score you will be only focused on that score value and then you will try to have deletions as much as possible operations you can perform is three 
let's see with that dry run how it can be solved so you will see that now i will fix on to a one target score let's say i fix my target score as seven so i, I fix the button again i will try for all three of them which means target score as five seven and seven although in this case seven and seven both are same but still i can have three different ones so i'll try for all three ones now i know my target score is seven. Again, it's a now a new problem with one target sum i have and then my pointers start from l and r and then as usually in a simple options i am simply doing a recursive operation how many what all ways i have what are options i have i have three options either i can choose the first and last or i can choose l and l plus one or i can choose r and r minus one right so i'll just try for all these but again make sure you should have a target score of this number seven so i'll just try okay i'll try for nums of l and nums of l plus one because i am just trying to delete the starting two values but it should match with my target score right l and l plus one three plus two is it equal to my target score mm, sorry bro it is not which means i cannot perform for this target score as an option i cannot perform this specific l and l plus one deletions which means starting two deletions i cannot perform because it is never matching it is not matching with my target score cool no worries bro option one exhausted option two you can still try on okay bro i'll try option two option two was try for lnr which means delete the first and last okay before deletions i should know that their sum should match with my target score because i can only delete if it matches with my target score so i'll just say l is three r is four yeah bro three plus four is seven ah it is matching my target so i can delete that oh if i delete that i can simply say that my sub problem will become okay this i have deleted now my sub problem has become that l is here and r is here l becomes l plus one r becomes r minus one now this is my new sub problem so i can simply say the same thing right i will have an answer which will give me the maximum possible deletions and i will have to maximize that this time i did one deletion because one pair is one deletion for me so i did one deletion and then i'll go and ask my recursion bro can you please solve it for l plus one and r minus one but i will give you the target score also but right now my target score for this problem is fixed which is seven so i know okay you have to perform the target score as seven only okay no worries but okay rn you tried option two but option three also you have to try right yeah bro i'll try option three also option three says delete r and r minus one okay bro i'll try that r is four r minus one is three oh bro simple r and r minus one are actually which means i can delete the last two elements also if i can do that now i will simply delete them now my new sub problem will become l to r minus two l to r minus two and thus you can see again maximize the number of deletions which means maximize the answer one one deletion which because one pair deleted so one added and solve for l to r minus two and the same way if i would have let's say let's imagine if l and l minus one would have added to my target i would have given the same thing answer is equals to maximum of answer comma one plus solve of l plus two comma r but remember target also i will pass on so that okay i am but but target is fixed my variables are only l and r target is always fixed which is seven target is always fixed which is seven remember that fact now you will see it's a simple recursion and i can also feel the vibes of dp but can you just for r sake can you please prove that it is actually a dp no worries bro to just simply prove that okay it's a dp we can simply say that okay we have a repetitive problem or not so if i have this specific state i wrote the same state down below okay i have this specific state i wrote the same state down below also now again in that state itself i will try for all three options option one option two option three option one was take the starting two elements option two was first and last option three was last two elements same way for him also option one option two option three now if i bring him option one then i will see that he will again i'm imagining let's say the values sum up i can only increase the pointer when actually l and l plus one sum up to my target sum which is this specific score it should sum up only then i can increase but let's say right now i imagine okay right now it increased it is actually matching so my l will become this so my l will be here r here so new prop new sub problem will be starting from l here and r here 
right what if i did let's say l and r matched so option two which means option two option two then both will like l will increase r will decrease so l and r will become like this so you can easily see that it is a repeating sub problem same sub problem right bro yeah it is a repeating sub problem that is the reason we can simply do a memoization and i know what to memoize i have to simply memoize my l and r and which means it will it can go to o of n square and i know i have a liberty to go of n square also so i can simply go and try for o of n square logarithm cool the code is pretty simple and that's the reason i told you if you have and this is a very standard kind of a problem with a small extension that rather than giving you a target sum target sum beforehand they have given a liberty for you to figure out all three possible target sum and then try for the value so say it is just that breaking one problem to two sub problems one one the first problem will give me the possible three target sums and then i will take each target sum and find out the maximum delicious which i can have by that target sum the code is pretty simple i'll do one thing i'll simply break it down which means i will have i will apply my dp three times because my target sum is three different target sums imagine this is a new problem that you have an array you have a target sum given as a new target sum then give me the maximum deletions possible again the, the the target sum change let's say sum one was there now it is sum two now let's say it is sum three so it is a three times you're applying your dp roughly cool now you will simply say that uh, you will initialize your dp with the value of minus one again you know that you have to memoize the thing which you have to memoize is actually your l and r L and R are nothing but left and right pointer, pointer of the array itself, array of size n. So I will say, okay, it is of size n, it is of size n. That's it. Cool. Uh, so I will just go and say, bro, go and try for the array, which means L will become from your 0, R will become in from your n minus 1, which is the L and R by default values. But your target sum right now, option 1 for target sum is that as you saw target sum has three options right so option of one for target sum is that you will have nums of zero which means left two values left two values sum up that is a one possible target sum option for you so okay nums of zero plus nums of one it is left two sum values and that is your target sum and then bro give me the maximum deletions which you can have so he will give me option one as the maximum number of deletions by this target sum on this specific array from 0 to n minus 1. Let's see the solve function. Exactly same recursive function. So a simple base case when your L L is more than equal to R, R n. Why is that the case? Why it is not passing it, which means why is not L is more than R? Because if you had remembered, then we know that our deletions will happen only in pairs. Which means if I L if my L is here and my R is here, let's imagine that okay, both of them move forward. Both of them move forward. L here, R here right now let's say again both of them move forward l here r here now you have seen that you can perform the deletions on two values here you are at same value here you are at same value so that is not counted in your deletion and let's say r in if it would not have been there so your r would have been here and l would have been here which means it has surpassed which means when you were when your l was here and r was here it, it was already counted so when your l is more than r or when your l is equal to r in both the cases you should not count your number of deletions which means you should not increase your number of deletions so please return the zero value which will not affect my answer cool so i'll just simply return my zero itself and a simple memoization of your dp if your dp of l r is not equal to minus one simply return the dp value now you know that you have to maximize the number of deletions let's say let's say it's an answer now i will try for all three possibilities first possibility is if your l and r l and r matches your target again i have to match with my target for sure no matter what if my l and r match with my target no worries bro try for l plus one and r minus one with one added with one added and say okay one deletion i have performed so my answer increased by one okay now uh, option two is l and l plus one left two values if it matches my target go and try for l plus two up to r and then r and r minus one try two values then go and try for l and r minus two r minus two whatsoever whatsoever i have maximized my answer 
allot that to my lcom r and this is this is i performed with one possible target sum value i know i have three possible target sum values one possible was starting to left other possible was first and last and other possible was last two as target sum values i'll try for all of th all three of them first second and third whosoever will give me the maximum number of operations i will get that specific value now although you might think it's actually an easy but the problem the actual thing which makes this problem hard is that you will have to you will many people will just simply get confused on why this was taken specifically different and why i could not solve it like this now for you if you are confused my question will be simple one thing that if you will use only one simple function and you will not call this function thrice then what target sum value will you pass do you have one possible target sum values no you don't because the possible target sum values in the very beginning itself are actually three so thus you have to call your function thrice and that's the reason you will actually be consuming o of 3 into O of n square time complexity, right? And the space is O of n square because of dp itself. Same way. Cool. That is the reason we can actually solve it in O of n square time and n square space. Cool. Thank you so much. See you goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye. It's actually a easy linked problem to the previous kind of similar problems. Again, we have seen similar kind of option problems. Okay. I have option 1, option 2, option 3. But it's just that in the option, you will have to figure out, okay, I will have to try for the options, but before that, I have to try for a possible sum also. So that possible sum is nothing, but I will give myself, I have three possible sum options, which I will try for. And for every possible sum option, I will have three options, three operations to try for. Cool. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye.